I'm Jeannie, and welcome to Jeannie's Martinis. Come on in. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Jeannie's Martinis. I'm not going to just show you how to make drinks. I'm also going to bring you behind the bar and show you all the ins and outs of bartending. You're probably used to sitting on this side of the bar and really don't know that much about what's happening on that side of the bar. So today I'm gonna to take you on that side of the bar so you can get some, a little bit familiar with what's going on back there. Come on. When you first come behind a bar, if you are gonna be interested in bartending, you need to know where everything is and you have to become familiar with it. So, up here, not, now not every bar has everything lined up like we do here and it's not the same in every bar. But for instance, over here we have all our vodkas, on the next shelf we have our rums and some scotches, and on the top shelf over here, we have some more scotches and cordials and mixers. There's always a spot for what we call top shelf liquor, which are always more expensive than other liquors that we carry. Your Di Serrano, which is a top shelf amaretto. You have Patron, which is a top shelf liqueur. Johnny Walker Black, which is a top, top shelf scotch whiskey, and so on. We also have some more top shelf items, Hennessy and Cavassier and Remy Martin. And, and then again, we have other uh, vodkas and rums on this side of the bar too. Um, we also have wines here so you have to get familiar with what type of wines the bar that you are working in currently is carrying so you can tell your customers what you have and don't have. We also carry beers so you have to become familiar with what type of beers you carry. Like uh, here we have Amstel and Heineken and Corona and Budweiser and Coors Light. Behind the bar it's oh, usually always a cooler where We'll keep like uh, wines chilled. We have more beers in here. We have uh, some olives and milk and mixers and whatnot. And that's all kept behind the bar and usually in a cooler. And then you have a fruit tray. In the fruit tray, you'll find your lemons and limes and cherries and olives and all your garnishes that you're going to need. So the best thing to do when you first get behind the bar is learn, you have to learn what everything is, become familiar with what, everything that's behind the bar. You also need to know what all your supplies are. For instance, where the glasses are being kept for the proper drink that you're going to make. Like over here, we uh, the rocks glasses are kept here, and the brandy snifters, and pint glasses, and then we have more uh, cocktail glasses, and wine glasses, and martini glasses, and shot glasses are usually kept along the shelf up here. So you really need to know where all your supplies are so that you're not spending a lot of time looking for things when the t while a customer is waiting for a drink. Like I do. <laughs> Today's drink is going to be a margarita. And I found this really pretty margarita glass. Normally we wouldn't actually use this here. Or a martini glass is also used for margaritas. But I thought it would be really cute, so I picked it up. You can get your shaker filled with ice. Now for a margarita you're going to need tequila, triple sec, lime juice, and sour mix. And you're also gonna need um, some type of a small plate or a tray to salt the rim of the glass. Now you can use regular salt if that's all you have, but kosher salt is even better because it, it clings better to the glass, or they actually make margarita salt. And they do come in different colors too if you wanna get really fancy. When someone asks for a margarita, there's a couple of different ways to make it. It contains the same alcohol no matter, no matter which way you make it, but sometimes, People want it on the rocks, and some people want it straight up in a margarita glass or a martini glass. Um, and some people want with salt or without salt. If you want it salted, we would put it in a rocks glass, because the person, let's say the customer wants it on the rocks with salt. And you take the lime, go all around the edge of the glass with the lime. Then you put it in a dish, and just turn it a few times until you get enough salt on it, like so. Then, you're gonna put ice in the glass because they want it on the rocks with salt. So it's gonna go in the glass. And now you're gonna take, you're gonna do a three count of tequila, three count of triple sec, two count of lime juice, and a couple of splashes of sour mix. Put the cover on it. This shaker has a cover already, so we don't have to transfer shakers. Shake it up really good. The more you shake, the better it's going to come out. And you're going to garnish that with a lime and a straw. And that's your margarita on the rocks with salt. Now, if a customer wants it without salt, straight up, it's good. we'll put it in this glass. And we're going to go through the same thing. You're going to do three count of... Tequila, triple sec, 
lime juice, a couple twists of sour mix. Top on, shake it up really good. Take it, you're gonna put it in front of the customer. Pour it in. Gonna add a lime. Yummy. And if needed, you can put a straw in it. So now that's your margarita on the rocks with salt and your margarita straight up, no salt. So I hope you enjoyed the, my lesson today on margaritas and until next time, cheers.